Amazon unveils a way to pay with just your hand in stores. Shalom, all praises, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahusha Bahashim, Wacha Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom wa chasab, which means peace and mercy, to the elect of the nation of Israel, who may be so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea land of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. To you I say Shalom, and Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Tazah. This lesson is edifying. This will be a mark of the beast, which is a RFID microchip update. And again, we will expand upon this article entitled Amazon unveils a way to pay with just your hand in stores. Published on Tuesday, September 29, 2020 at approximately 9.06 a.m. By Annie Palmer of CBS, CNBC, excuse me, dot com. It reads, Amazon on Tuesday launched a new palm scanning device called Amazon One that connects shoppers' palm to a credit card, which will be that chip to let them pay without waiting in line. And this is just simply a conditioning tactic that they are using through a process known as gradualism, which is the policy of doing things in gradual stages to achieve a desired end. And what is the de- what is the desired end of the wicked who is Esau Edom, the so called Caucasian race, beginning with their hegemony, to cause all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And that mark is the RFID microchip. Okay? To start It'll launch in two cash cashless gold stores in Seattle. But Amazon hopes to introduce the technology in other Amazon stores and sell it to third parties like retailers, offices, and stadiums. And here in New York, the transit system has been using something known as Omni, One Metro New York, which is basically the same thing, people paying with simply the swipe of their phone or their watch you know or their credit card and we understand that that's also all simply conditioning the minds of the people into getting used to doing so so that when they mandate and roll roll out that chip people would see it as a means of convenience to just simply swipe their hands and paying as they go not knowing that the RFID market chip is a mark of the beast. Because believe it or not, a lot of people out there still do not know that the RFID market chip is the mark of the beast. But those that do know, many will willfully take it as a means of so-called convenience, whereas many others won't, you know, because you got some people out there that have some wits about them. But anyway... Let's read on. Amazon One lets users enter some of the company's stores and buy products with the palm of their hand. Amazon wants to speed up shopping tips by letting users pay with the palm of their hand. The company on Tuesday launched Amazon One, a new biometric technology. Bio means body. Metric simply means uh, technology technology of the body that enables shoppers to enable and pay for items at stores by placing their palm over a scanning device. In order for it to work, users first have to connect their palm to a stored credit card. And again, that stored credit card would ultimately be that chip, the RFID microchip also known as the NFC chip implant in Europe, or the bio chip. Bio, again, means body, body chip. After that, users are able to pay with their hand. To start, Amazon One will be an entry option at two of its dozens of cashless Amazon Go stores located near its Seattle headquarters. 
Over time, Amazon plans to introduce the technology at more of its physical stores in the coming months. In the coming months, keep that in mind. Amazon also hopes to sell the palm scanning technology to other companies like retailers, stadiums, and office buildings. The company said it's already in active discussions with several potential customers. It's a model Amazon has experimented with before. In March, Amazon said it will begin selling the technology powering its cashierless stores called Just Walk Out. Which allows shoppers to enter a store by scanning an app and then exit without waiting in line. Cameras and sensors track what items customers choose and charge them when they leave. See? So all that shit, man. Amazon efforts to license techno tech technolo- technologies technologies, excuse me. To other retailers could hit some roadblocks. It's unclear whether competing retailers will want to adapt the technology in their stores and potentially hand over customer data to a rival. It says Dilip Kumar, Amazon's vice president of physical retail and technology, told Record that Amazon One would collect data on where customers shop, but not what they purchase or how much time they spend in third party stores. Yeah, we already know all that. Let's just skip straight to the key points. Shoppers may also be wary to hand over biometric data to one of the country's large retailers. Amazon addressed privacy concerns in, in the launch of Amazon One, saying it designed the technology to be highly secure. Palm images aren't stored on the Amazon One device and are instead encrypted and stored in a secure area that was custom built in the cloud, which is that blockchain. Amazon One users will also be able to request to delete their biometric data after using it, either via the device or online. Amazon said it chose to use palm scanning technology because it's considered more private, which is bullshit than other biometric alternatives, which include things like eye scanning technology or facial recognition. You can determine a person's identity by looking at an image of their palm, Amazon added. This concludes the article I will leave in the description box. Now, let's go to the scriptures. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, and he, the he, is referring to the hegemony of Esau, Edom, so-called Caucasian race. Okay, beginning with their elites. That's the that's the he, right? The banging families, the Rothschilds, the Kays, the Dupont, the McDonalds, and he calls it all both small and great. Either from a baby to a listening in society, rich and poor, whether they be rich or whether they be poor, free and bond, whether they be free in society, or whether they be in bondage, to receive a mark. That mark there is karagma which means a stamp or imprinted mark. That imprinted mark is the RFID microchip. The root word of karagma is charax, which charax means a palisade or a stake, which is that syringe mechanism that that they will use to puncture the flesh of an individual to then insert that karagma, that imprinted mark, which is the RFID microchip okay and the root word of charax is grafo which means of the writings filled with the writings filled with the records because within the rfid microchip is where people's records their writings such as their biometric information medical information and their financial information will be stored, will be recorded, will be written, and then uploaded to a, a, a blockchain cloud, man. Okay? That is that record. Okay? And ultimately, again, that mark is an RFID microchip. 
also known as the NFC chip implant in Europe or biochip. Okay, there's that mark in their right hand or in their foreheads in front of their brain. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast. So no man will be able to buy or sell unless he receives that mark. And the elect of the nation of Israel will not receive that mark. We, we will not be receiving, we will not take that chip to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Ratazah, I am of the elect as well as you, brethren out there. And you, few sisters as well. Okay, the Lord will keep his elect from the hour of temptation. Now, when you go into the word temptation, it means to try out. But to further go into it, a trial through the idea of piercing. Okay, so the hour of piercing. What will that be when these devils roll out that chip technology? Okay, when they mandate it, because it says here that they're going to cause all. Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay? Again, and then the old man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast. Now, the beast is the pagan Roman Empire, which came back in the form of NATO and the EU, with America being an extension of that empire, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that understand count the number of the beast for it is a number of a man and his number is 600 three score and six 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 which is the barcode system of the beast which all goes ultimately back to his blockchain technology his infrastructure his beast infrastructure that will allow him to utilize the the chip technology okay his upc code when you look at certain products and you go into the store and you look at the back of them and the label you'll see some black long lines in rows and you'll notice that three lines one on the very right one on the very left and one in the middle very longer than all the rest that's that 666 that's what that means and in the Greek here, 666 is chai, stai, stigma. Okay? Chai and stai both means X mark. I always make this reference as well, that there's a saying in the world, X marks the spot. Okay? Look at certain medical movies. Before a doctor punctures the flesh of an individual, they would mark that uh, what are the spot of puncture with an X or a circle with a dot in the middle. That's that X mark in the spot. Which it all goes back to the chip, man. The RFID microchip. And then stigma. Stigma means stamp. And figuratively, according to the online etymology dictionary, figuratively a mark of disgrace. So, that chip is a mark of disgrace, man. Now, let's read the judgment. Okay, let's read the judgment. For uh, Revelations 14, for those that take that chip, it says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast and its image, now the image of the beast is the system of the beast, comprised of his financial system, his educational system, his philosophies, his democracy, his laws." Its infrastructure, all these things comprise the image of the beast, which is a, which is a, the system of the beast. Okay, it's not an image of Caesar Bourget, man. <laughs> and receive his mark in his forehead or his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. The word indignation means righteous anger, and so those that Pardon me, those that worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, they're going to drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High. But through his son, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. For in the hand of the Lord is a cup. You see? Psalm 78. 
or 72, I believe. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. From what? From the ICBM nuclear missiles. And from the concentrated rays of light that will be shot forth from the chariots, which people call so-called UFOs. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. The Lamb is Yahweh Shai. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, meaning for a period of time, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast in his image and whosoever received the mark of his name. So again, to those out there that are new, the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. The beast is the pagan Roman Empire, which came back in the form of NATO and the EU, with America being an extension of that empire. The image of the beast is the system of the beast, which is comprised of his philosophies, his democracy, his laws, his financial system, his educational system, his infrastructure. All these things comprise the image of the beast, which is the system of the beast. Okay? And he is referring to the wicked. Who is the wicked? Malachi chapter 1 verse 4, Esau, Edom, okay, who today are known as the so-called white race, okay, beginning with their hegemony, their elites, okay, so with that, with that pray this lesson was edifying, should the spirit and power be high, Till the next I say, Shalom, to the elect.